So good evening everybody. Uh, I just thought I'd give you a little walk around the loft. I had to turn the lights on for the race boards to feed them. So just before I turned them off, I thought I'd give everybody a little walk around. So I'm just going to show you again the stock section. So here's the stock boards. Uh, I have some on eggs and the others I removed their eggs because I want to use them as feeders. So there, most of these are just feeder boards um, for the German boards that we got in. So uh, there's a load there now to go down again on eggs, okay? Here's the race boards. Now this is an interesting one. So I have 24 boxes here and I have four perches here. And the reason for that is uh, up, till, <laughs> up till a few days ago, uh, I had 22 cocks and uh, 34 odd hens or something like that. But now it turns out with 28 and 28. Now two of them are figuritas, a hen and a cock figurita. But other than that, so I have 27 hens and 27 cocks to race by the looks of it, which is fantastic. Now, out of all of these boards though, there is only a handful of older boards. I think there's 16 to 20 older boards, as in two year old plus, not yearly. So those are the boards I'll be using for Poitiers and Barcelona, because there's a couple of three, four and five year olds. Um, and then we have the hens here. So as you can see, there are all the hens. Now again, uh, that's the figurita on the ground there, the grizzle. Uh, they're all in good nick. Some of the later bred boards are still going through the moat. Um, so the racing plan for these is all of the later bred boards will be put out as far as Skibberian and the yearlings, and they'll be left then. Barring a handful of them, I may have a go at them at the Guernsey any age race with the BICC with that, I'm, uh, that I'm looking after uh, from here. So that's the plan at the moment anyway. Um, it may change as we go, I don't know as yet. Um, as we say, I have 54 boards there, which is, which is uh, I've never had 54 boards. And because of that now, I won't really be breeding for myself. I, I have, I think, six or eight eggs fertile I want there, but that'll be it then for me till uh, probably April or May. Uh, I won't be breeding till April or May or myself. Um, and we'll just carry on with these race boards. Uh, the feed they're on at the moment is 50-50 barley and diet plus, sorry, super diet. And that includes the stock boards. Now the breeding mix is there for the stock boards uh, in the next couple of weeks when the eggs hatch. I think there's, there's about 14 eggs or something there to be hatched. Um, and then we have this obviously the spare section still here. So the few young boards I'm keeping myself will go in there. And they're actually going to be aimed at the Annie Age Gornsey in August with a couple of these later bred boards and the yearlings. Um, other than that, everything else will be left to mature. I'm hoping to be going out of those yearlings. So 54 of which probably 30 to 34 of them are yearlings, late bred yearlings and will be yearling late breds. Um, and I'm hoping to be going into the two year old stage with about 20 of them at least. So they, I'm just gonna take my time with them. They're just gonna go nice and handy, get them well schooled. Point the fact I'm probably gonna start schooling these in the next week or two. So it's actually now the 28th of January or December. So I'm gonna start schooling these in the next couple of weeks, getting them out, getting them out nice and handy. Uh, no rush on fine days, just to get them, get them training. I don't think it'll do them any harm. Um, just pick the days, as you say, to get them going. Other than that, now we have the boards in here settled well. Interestingly enough, I haven't had a neighbor here since I uh, changed the loft, but there will be a neighbor going up there to let the stock boards out to have a bath and that, and some more air and ventilation in that sex. I'm just not too happy with it at the moment. So when you're not happy with something, you may as well change it quickly because otherwise it could lead to detrimental effects. So that's what I'm at. Um, I'm quite happy with the way the boards are molding. The, the later bred boards that come in from Germany and the couple of really late ones I have myself are still going through head molts. They probably won't molt all their flights. As I said, that's one partially the reason I'm just gonna go as far as skibbereen with them. Um, but other than that, all's good. All's good, I have a nice, nice, nice uh, crop of boards here. Hens uh, and cocks, to be honest with you. Um, looking forward to Poitiers now this year on the 12th of June. That's what I'll be aiming for um, with these older boards. I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, have a good evening everybody and a happy new year.